प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर वन एट सिक्स फ्रॉम सर कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट इन डीलिंग विद द रेलवे स्टाफ आई थिंक देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ ग्रेटर इंपॉर्टेंस देन दैट ऑफ एश्योरिंग द क्लास फोर स्टाफ of a prospect of continuous advancement in proportion to their merit now the railway inquiry committee referred to this matter about 8 years ago i scan the railway board's report every year in order to see what progress has been made in this matter and how far training has been provided for the staff and new avenues of promotion opened to them but i am disappointed year after year i am therefore glad to learn that the railway minister is attending to this question i have no time sir to refer to the recommendations of the railway inquiry committee because i have got only 6 and 1/2 minutes more but i should request him to place the recommendations of that committee and the estimates committee before the committee that he has appointed one of the most important recommendations made by the railway inquiry committee was that efforts should be made to make every member of class 4 staff literate all our workers should be literate just as all our soldiers are and although education is not the responsibility of the railways yet i think that it will be in the interest of the railways themselves if they attend to the education of their workers now sir i come to one or two general questions which i think are of great importance the burden on the railway board is increasing year after year it has been increasing for 6 or 7 years almost now yet the size of the board remains what it was i know that some additional members were appointed by the railway minister last year in order to help the members of the railway board i personally do not think that this was a satisfactory method of dealing with the problem of increased work i hold the view that it is better to increase the strength of the board than to add to the mem- number of officers i should however like to know how far this experiment has succeeded the railway minister has not said a word about it in his budget speech although it is a matter of great importance i should also like to know what the status of these additional members will be in the setup of the railways another question to which i would like to refer is that of decentralization i referred to this question last year also but i do not think the railway ministry has paid the slightest attention to this question railway plans throw a heavy amount of work on every officer 
or member of the railway board down to the divisional superintendent and the officers under him is it not necessary therefore to do two things the first point that i would like to refer to is the need for seeing whether there is any work done now by the railway board that can be transferred to the general managers can we throw greater responsibility on the general managers allowing them to decide certain questions even some important questions instead of concentrating everything in the minds of the railway board the policy of this of centralization may be necessary in certain respects but i do not think that the extent to which it has been followed has been conducive to efficiency or to the development of the initiative of the general managers and the officers under him under them stop